Welcome to the Lotus Community Center. Welcome to the Lotus Community Center. Welcome to the Lotus Community Center. Harmony, Corrine, and I have been looking for something to do for a long time. And uh, it was as simple as a one phone call. He said, I think I found something for us to do. And he said, well, wait till you read it. The guy's an idiot. But I really like it. Say it with me now. Awesome secrets. Awesome secrets. Awesome secrets. Awesome secrets. I, this, the premise still makes me laugh. I'm a motivational speaker, but I'm an idiot. And usually motivational speakers, you automatically think of a guy who's hustling, right? He's, he, he wants you to buy the DVD, or wants you to buy the book, or join the club, or come to the seminar. And my guy doesn't care about any material things. He sincerely wants everyone in the room to get better, but he's a fool. You know, the text is very specific. So you got, I got a lot of impressions right away. Did you study any motivational speakers or evangelical preachers to get into the role? No. <laughs> You've just found it within you already. I, yes, I drew on my years of experience in and around the, the movie business. He's always messing with what the premise is and, and altering it as a, as a storyteller, which is great fun to be around, very playful. And this is his first kind of 100% comedy. There's very little darkness in this. Sit down. How do you get a piece of that pie and still maintain a semblance of dignity? You know that, and I know that. It's cool that I'm here for you. I'm so happy you're here for me. I want you so bad. I want you, baby. Sexy. You have said in the past that you choose roles because you want to be challenged. Was there any part of this character that challenged or scared you? The character on the page is Hector, but Harmony decided that we just use my name, and that was pretty nerve-wracking, that someone might misunderstand that it's trying to say that it's really me, and... This is what you're up to now. <laughs> yeah, which is what I say in the movie, but it's a fun idea to, to pretend that it's really you. That's one of his conceits. They said, yeah, but where does it go? It's not what the story's about. He goes, I don't know. So he's experimenting too, but he's, I said, yeah, that's, but you're experimenting with something that could be taken very much in the wrong way. So I did have apprehension about that part of the story. Please help me welcome my friend and my mentor, Val Kimmer, y'all! Give it up for Val Kimmer! He says that he feels like you're misunderstood. Do you feel like that? Yeah, because I, I've had lots of bad things written about me. Somehow the impression that I'm um, difficult or should in some way not be, you know, liked or considered. And I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger being casual or flippant in, in interviews, which I regret because the impressions last. I think Harmony's been so consistently carefree about what matters to him as a filmmaker. He's not involved in any other kind of struggle as an artist. I don't know if he's ever gone through that horrible thing where there's negative press just because he's honest and successful and has these standards that are his own and personal. Do you feel like you learned something from working with him? Yeah, it's really weird. Like when I was a kid, I get to name drop. I was hanging out with Meryl Streep, and so I was asking her questions that I knew only someone like Meryl could answer, because she's so good. And I thought she was lying to make the kid actor feel good. She said, oh, you know, you never really learn how to do it. You have to relearn everything all the time. And I didn't believe her. And now I understand. Each role is a new set of challenges, and you have to continue to go back and be fresh and alive all the time as a student. You know, it's really interesting when you kind of stay close to what matters that's basic about acting. You're getting so much better at that. And out of all the characters that you've played, has there ever been one that you have felt you know, so taken over with that you've taken a piece of that character back with you and you continue to hold on to? Well, every, every role does. 
you know, you try to put yourself into the circumstance of the character as much as you can, and, and you try to really, really believe it. So, you know, I really had to believe I was an idiot and motivational speaker that just really is excited to share these crazy ideas. The most fun I've had in years and years was this one I made with Harmony, and right before that I made a movie with Francis Coppola, very personal movies to both of these guys I've loved for a long time. I hope that keeps happening. Um, I spent a lot of years making uh, movies just to make money. But are you actually going to have some serious words of wisdom to impart to these people? I think there was some serious words of wisdom at the Lotus Community Center. 99% uh, of it, no. You know, he says a few things about you know, to get wealthy first, get a bunch of gold bars, then bury them underneath your tub. So then you're sitting on a pot of gold. That's not, that's not really very valuable. As I'm saying this, forget I'm saying it, but then do it. Build a hidden safe, like contraption, under your bathtub, fill it up with gold bars. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone your secret code or your password. You lock it up when you take a bath at night. You'll be sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> now, Harmony let us in on a little behind the scenes it's secret. Probably, he's probably lying. <laughs> but go ahead. He said that you had women massaging your feet and, what the hell? and toes, and that you would have dry ice sort of shipped in for general trailer ambiance to really get you into the zone. It's just what happens in his mind. So I'm going to keep imagining that you had women massaging your toes and, that, true and that there was dry ice billowing out of your trailer. Right. Trailer? <laughs> I had... You didn't even have a trailer? <laughs> no one had a trailer. What a nice way to end it. I feel, I feel pretty good. The fourth dimension. Did I mention the fourth dimension?